When I was there at the engagement party, I gotta tell you, I'd never seen two people so happy as these two people right here. They were shaking, but they were so smiley, and like she had a, she had a smile for like an hour. being happier than I was on February 10th, 2019, when I asked for your hand in marriage. But here we are, celebrating the day we have long been anticipating. We've had so many wonderful moments together already, and today is the first day of the rest of our lives. Bradley James Johnson, hereby and hereon, most solemnly and sincerely vow to you, Lee Taylor Harmon, to love, cherish, honor, guide, protect, exalt, and provide for you. Furthermore, it is my vow to you that, as my lawfully wedded wife, I shall love you in the self-sacrificing way that Christ loves the church, placing none other than God before you. I remember the first time you told me you loved me. We'd only been dating a few months, and we were at the comedy club, and you got those front row seats. And the comedian started talking to the entire audience about love, and then he asked us, if we were loved, <laughs> we hadn't said that yet. I froze, but you yelled out in front of the whole audience, of course we are. You probably know this, but I loved you then too. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. You may now kiss the bride. I love you, honey. Like marriage, I think you gotta work on your sense of humor every day and work on it every day. And I'd like everybody please to join me in giving them a toast to Brad and Lee for a long, happy, healthy, prosperous, and bountiful marriage. Here, here. Brad was six years old. He went on a field trip to Lincoln Park Zoo from his school. His mother and I gave him three dollars to spend on a snack and a souvenir. When he got home, I asked him what he had gotten or what he had gotten himself for a treat. And he said, no, I didn't get anything and I, I didn't get a souvenir. I said, well, what did you do with the three dollars? He said, well, I gave it to this little boy who didn't have anything. What, what do you say to a little boy that's six years old when he does something like that? You know, what a wonderful thing to do.
You know, you don't marry someone you can live with, you marry the one that you can't live without. And that's never been more evident with you guys. Um, I can tell that you guys can't live without each other, so uh, super happy for you guys. I love you, Lee. Brad, I love you as my son. The two of you are everything to me. Brad, thank you for being the man that I know will always protect my little girl.